There's no room for doubt in Dusseldorf. Optimism is high among the England fans, positive about their first game against Serbia. Feeling confident, confident. coming home. I think, I think, attack, we're looking really good. At least a 2-0 victory. They had a very strong side, very competitive, but I think we've got the skills to outmatch them. Today, the party will move up the road to Gelsenkirchen for the clash, and they hope the celebration. After the disappointment of the last Euros, hope is once again alive among the England fans. But it's not just England fans out in force. British police are also in Germany on the lookout for trouble. We have seen people openly taking cocaine off the back of their hands, um, drinking beer, which is a lot stronger than what they used to. Um, and people tend to get carried away and don't think, do things that they normally would do at home. A rowdy crowd can quickly turn violent. A smash bottle or crossword can spark a fight. And it's the slightest thing, just changes the dynamic of the crowd. It's just that they're singing and singing, and all of a sudden they turn, just see the body language change, they puff the chest out. <laughs> The game against Serbia is classed as high risk. All right, let's go, let's, let's walk a bit past here. And previously banned fans are among this crowd. We've got 2,000 um, fans that are subject to banning orders. Some of those banning orders will have expired. Um, they wouldn't have done anything for, say, three or five years. So they haven't, we haven't got the grounds to stop them from travelling. And you've seen some here? Yeah. In fact, Stuart and his team have seen around 100 known hooligans. They'll now report back to German police in the hope of keeping all of England's battles on the pitch. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Dusseldorf.